Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Honeybee Stamps is celebrating Green Week with a special sale. Save 15% off everything in their Green Week collection. And I do have a link for the sale in the description box below. The design team is also creating lots of fun green cards this week. I have a super green card to share with you today. I have some green card stock. I used the stitched rectangle die to cut that out. And now I'm adding some paint splatter to the background. Starting off with a dark green color, and then I'll add some white. I'm trying to focus the splatter on the outside edge since you won't see the center of this cardstock. Now I'll add the white paint, and I will let this piece dry completely before I start adding it to a card. So there it is, all finished. I'll layer this piece on some dark green cardstock, put some ATG tape on the back, and I'll also put some liquid adhesive along the very outside edge since I did cut out this panel using a stitched rectangle die. Sometimes it warps the edge of the paper slightly and adding that liquid adhesive helps it lay nice and flat. The liquid adhesive I'm using in this video is by Honeybee Stamps. It's their precision tip glue and it's really nice glue. And I love that they also have the little glue holder. On the very bottom, there's a cute little bee. So I'll flip over this panel, put some ATG tape on the back and add it to a card base. And for this card, I am leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Now I'll be adding three die cut pieces and I cut these out using the Stacking Art Deco labels. I have three different shades of green cardstock. I'll adhere the largest piece down first using some liquid adhesive. Try to make sure to get it nice and straight. Now for the other two die cut pieces, I'll be popping them up using some thin foam strips. And these are from Honeybee Stamps. I love them, they're so easy to use. You can cut them down and they're very thin, so it's not adding a lot of extra bulk to your card. I'm using the black foam, but they also have white. And I will have links in the description box for all of the products I use in this video. I'll remove the release paper and add this die cut piece on top of that darker green die cut piece. And I like how they leave that little border around so they're easy to stack together. I'll do the same thing for the smallest die cut piece. I know some people will be surprised I'm not using any pattern paper at all. And I love Honeybee Stamps pattern paper. But for this card, I decided just to go with solid cardstock. It was really nice for this card. I only use scrap cardstock. I didn't cut out any full sheets. I always keep scrap cardstock since you never know when you'll be able to use it. So I'll remove the release paper on this last piece and stack it on top. So I'll have those three different die cut pieces all layered together with different shades of green. Next, I'll add a couple of leafy branches and I cut these out from some beautiful iridescent mirror cardstock. This is from Tonic Studios. It's their seafoam green color. And the die set I used is one of Honeybee Stamps newer sets. It's their lovely layers greenery. I have two of the same pieces, but I am cutting down one of them. I'm not throwing away those little pieces I cut off yet since I may add them in. So I'll glue those down using some of the liquid adhesive. Some of the areas I decided to have them loose and not have that liquid adhesive, but for most of it, I want them to lay flat. I'll adhere the smaller branch on the right, and then I'll add that full branch on the left. I love how shiny the iridescent cardstock is. It does have a green color, but depending on how the light hits it, you do get that rainbow look. So I'm putting an acrylic block on top just for some added weight while I let that glue adhere. I'll set aside the extra leaves for now and start working on the sentiment. I'm using the Get Well Soon stamp and coordinating die set. The sentiment I'm adding is you're on my mind and in my heart. So I'll be doing some heat embossing. I have some black cardstock and I'll first treat it with some anti-static powder. I'll ink up the sentiment using Honeybee Stamps clear embossing ink. Stamp that right in the center. The embossing powder is by Wow. It's the opaque, bright white, super fine color. Just tap away the extra. 
Then I'll grab my pink heat tool and heat set that sentiment. I love the contrast of the white on that black. So now I'll use the coordinating die to cut out the sentiment. It's one of my favorite things about Honeybee Sam's sentiments is there are coordinating dies and they cut out beautifully. So no fussy cutting required. I'll adhere to the card using some liquid adhesive, putting it on the lower area with those branches. I thought about popping it up with some more foam dimension, but I already have those two layers and I didn't want to make this card too thick. So I'll press that in place, trying to make sure to get it nice and straight. Put my acrylic block on top. And now I'll pull out some of the extra leaves. Decided to add just one more underneath the lower portion of the sentiment, just to balance all of that out. I'm just tucking the little branch underneath the sentiment. With all of the sparkle from the iridescent cardstock, I decided the card didn't really need any bling. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. If you are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Be sure to go and check out Honeybee Stamps blog and social media pages for more Green Week inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.